Okay. The bleeds are not particularly good. But not they're not particularly bad either. Uh, let's throw away a crushing trap. Play the swordsman. The song of steel. Maybe he has some removal that he's gonna use up. I love you, Adam. From Russia with love. Well, you don't re really beat around the bush. Uh. Plowing hangover. Saying thanks uh, kind of feels uh, not enough. I love you too, man. <laughs> um. Crap. Seems like these bleed guys are pretty popular. I, even I had them in the deck. Uh, do we want to kill something? Let's go with the dried matron. Yeah, the bleed is annoying, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. <clears throat> Kintai, the Henrietta. Uh, any particular deck you guys would like to see? Or anything, or any kind of feedback about the stream? I rarely get feedback these days. I'm kind of looking feed feedback on my hair. Do you guys like the hair? Because I, I think I may, may need to change it a little bit. It's getting to the point where it's just too long and kind of annoys me. I may need to change that a little bit. Not for the stream. That's just like, that's just something uh, of personal nature. You guys don't have, you guys just can't tell me like, hey, I want you to be a punk, Adam. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, did you change your old Brewer deck? Yeah, of course I did. Uh, that's what we are playing right now. It was requested that I, I play this Brewer deck. Okay, let's just pass. He did use up some good cards. That is all... what I wanted. Uh, let's pass. That's a lot of points. Maybe he's gonna push us. He's up an 8, and uh, I'm not sure about the other guy. I think that's like a 10-ish. I think 9, maybe. Uh, that's on the weak side. Okay, we got the double trap. And this deck actually has some pretty powerful options. We have all the traps. So we can actually use up all the traps this turn to win this turn. And still feel pretty good about uh, what we have left for last round, but we don't even need to do that. Uh, we can just play this guy. Plowing hangover. <laughs> All right, Brewer. Pull it down a little bit. That's good too. Uh, maybe. Those are pretty good. Okay, now we need to slow down. We didn't draw into everything, but this is pretty damn good. I don't want to draw into any traps. So if we play this, uh, a Witcher can kill it. If we play this, it might actually draw some removal. This can get killed by more things. This deck can be very strong in the long round. Oh yeah. That's exactly why we're playing it. That's a good target just to hit. Uh, 
Let's go and generate some more uh, points. He's not killing them. Um, I guess I'm just gonna be okay with that. We might want to play a Mahakam Horn in the front and boost those guys just to guarantee that they are not gonna be killed. At this point, he might prioritize killing Pofko. Seems like he doesn't care. Okay, let's say I don't want to play any traps without playing the Elven Scouts first, so let's do that. You shall taste of your own medicine. Seems to be just pretty focused on what he's doing. got a pretty big uh, Yorvin by the end of it. Maybe he has a commander swan, but I doubt it. But why did he... Well, I suppose that he could play it just for the slave infantry. That's okay. We all have secrets of one kind or another. Okay. Uh, we need to play Yorvid's Gambit, I think, a little bit earlier. Yeah, just to able to replay the pit trap next turn. Then we play a crushing trap. Or we don't necessarily have to go that way. We can also trigger the Mahakam horn. And um, replay that with Yorvet. Then go Yorvet's Gambit with crushing trap. We're playing the same thing, but I'm not sure about the rest. Uh, let's do that. It's gonna be a pretty damn big Dobratana sentry by the end of it. Do you have any ideas about Poison's deck? I don't think you need to... Oh, no, no, no. I guess I don't. I don't value poison that much. The problem is, like, you can't really make a poison deck, I believe, because... Poison deck already implies that uh, your opponent... Said that. Uh, your opponent playing some big units, right? Else poison is not that great. Uh, that, that pit trap is gonna be... Well, not pit trap, but uh, the 
the crushing trap he took from me. It's actually gonna be pretty decent. It makes sense to hit the back. It's pretty damn strong. Better have at least one more unit. Yeah. So, we wanna hit the back. We gotta play this Urbathana sentry. This guy gets moved in. This guy gets moved in. Of course, Vivian the Tabris gets moved in as well. Not the best, but it's okay. You can just hit a cow. Maybe hit the sleep infantry. Doesn't matter much. Decent lead. Okay, we only had one win condition this game, and it was okay. GG! Whatever that was. GG. High five. He, he uses the high five card. It also has like a pointy dagger on as well, but I like to see it as high five, so GG. Oh, look at that! We got Dagon! Yeah, maybe not the Alvin Scout. We got some good cards. I'm not sure if we want the Alvin Scout again. Uh, let me keep the Sentry. Well, now the Sentry would be okay. So we can start with the Smuggler. Just for you, love. I see this guy a lot. Do I want to move this in the front and try to encourage some kind of a uh, random win? Don't we can actually set up a Dryad Matron a duo, generating stupid amounts of value. Maybe he's gonna give up early. We can also shut that down uh, just to make his... Uh, Mulligans, awkward. We, we might be able to just straight up win the game because he's a uh, foglet messing up things. I don't think he's gonna push this too much. Looks like it. We can just play this guy. Let us sing the song of steel. And if he's serious about pushing this. We're just kind of like slowing down a little bit here. That's fine. That's not that, that valuable. Hey, watch your step. Oh, time to ship. What is he shipping? Oh, IS unit. I don't know. So... We can play... This. May your sword and arm be one. Damn. You really hate the matrons. I have a choice. 
We can play the Mahakam Horn. After actually we are pinging once. Yeah, I kind of suspected it. They don't like uh, facing traps because it's like pit trap. What am I gonna do if it's a pit trap? Well, I just not play into it, right? Uh, we just wanna improve our hand. So thinning the deck became a lot more difficult with the last expansion. So, our solution to that is just to have more good cards in it. Okay, these are terrible draws. Where are my good cards? Well, this is good. Oh, that's good. So, that's a good combo. We can have the double trap card. Actually, that would be bad. Might just take this. The double trap card would be still okay. Because we get a crushing trap out of it. But that's basically just... Yeah, fine. Same thing. If you insist. So, this deck, this hand might just look like a complete mess. But it's fine. So, our goal is to make him play in the first row, then we just crushing trap everything. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take some uh, unturning blind here and uh, throw that fatty into the fire. We might go with Elven Scout. I only have one move left. It doesn't matter too much, but I think we're gonna go on the melee row. A fire, a pass. Uh, I probably should play the boar instead. Alright, let's go with Boar. Then we gotta play the sentry in the back. Every time the Boar moves, sentry is gonna be like, yeah! Get boosted boar! We can actually get the boar back so it hits again and gets an extra boost. No! Oh, boar is dead! I should have. I should have returned him sooner. God damn it. Oh, actually. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can move it somewhere else. Crushing Trap needs to be... Put that in the right time. Gonna be... Two before last and one before last. That's, that's the best move, usually. He might just think that I'm... I'm baiting here. It doesn't matter where I play it, he knows that it's not a Mahakam Horn. But let's just put it in the middle, just to pretend that it's a Mahakam Horn. I'm kind of hoping he's gonna be like, oh, This is my time! He's baiting for sure! 
I have the best guys. I know. I'm I'm really good at this. <laughs> I outplayed him big time. He didn't expect that. I'm just too smart. That's it. That's fine. Him getting hit in the fire. <laughs> I have the best bait. <laughs> I'm just so good at it. It made sense to not move the old spear tip. Now he actually giving me Ragnarok and uh, crushing that value. And this is uh, one of the more difficult decks to win against because he's playing big units. If you are going up against just like low level trash, they're all like four or five, then they just all get cleaned up. So GG.